happy Saturday. I hope the audio and video is coming in okay. Uh, I'm at the beach, so it might be kind of noisy. Um, today wasn't really a super big training day, but um, I had a pretty heavy mental and emotional week. So I did what any rational person would do. I got up at three in the morning, drove to the beach to watch the sunrise and then ran a half marathon. Um, kidding aside, um, this is kind of a mental reset for me, uh, going to the beach and I seem to, this seems to be my happy place and running is my happy thing. So I figured after the week that I had, why not go to my happy place and do my happy thing? So that's what I did. Um, it was kind of heavy this week. I, I used some emotional muscles that I haven't used in a while. And now that I'm not using them, they're sore and tired. So this is kind of a recovery right now. Um, <clears throat> it's about the best way I can put it. Uh, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days and bad days are okay every once in a while, but this week I had a few of them in a row. So I knew it was time to, to really get a good, um, mental reset. And since last year, when I made the decision to go out on my own, the beach is really the first place that I knew I felt at peace and happy and something about the beach I just really connect with. The, the sights and the sounds, thinking about the potential energy in the ocean, the kinetic energy in the waves all around, feeling the sand, smelling the, the salt air. It's, it's very centering to me. I really connect with it. Um, I know I'm getting a little crunchy granola on you, but that's just how it is and it's my happy place. And, and uh, after the week that I had, I just figured I needed to come out here and, and get a good solid reset because um, well, I wanted to wash off last week and kind of the last month, but I've also got my training plan for the next 100 mile ultra marathon starting next week. Uh, it's a 20 week training plan, which is kind of not overwhelming, but it's eye opening because that's the start of that program. And in 20 weeks, I'm going to be doing another 100 mile ultra marathon. And that doesn't seem like very much time. And the last time it flew by. So that training plan is built on a lot of runs during the week anywhere between four to eight miles, sometimes two a day if I do hills, uh, sometimes a little longer during the weekday, and sometimes I got to push myself and go a little faster uh, than normal just to get my legs built up and my endurance built up. And then on the weekends, that's when the big days are. Um, it goes through a couple build up hills over the weekends. It starts out like, I think my first weekend is doing 15 miles on Saturday, maybe 10 on Sunday. And then it builds up to, I think my biggest weekend is 35 miles on a Saturday and 20 miles on a Sunday. So it builds up, goes down, builds up higher, goes down, builds up even higher, goes down all the way up until the 20th week, which is the 100 mile run itself. So that's starting next week. And within that time, I'm also training for my Ironman. By the way, that 100 miler is the first weekend of December. And so in that time, I'll be working on Ironman. The running's gonna keep me in shape, but I still have to swim and bike 
So I got an indoor bike trainer that I've got to show you guys. I'm really excited about it because it's fun, but it's super hard. So I'll get a video of me using it and hopefully I won't, I won't spill <laughs> whenever I'm using it because uh, it's tough. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be doing some swimming and bike training until September um, for Ironman. And then, then I'll have the 100 miler in December and I'll still have to keep doing swimming and biking through that because, excuse me, if you haven't seen it yet, I am doing a double Iron, Ironman length triathlon in March. That means it's, it's not Ironman sanctioned, so they use a different name. It's called a double anvil. Um, so it's going to be a 4.8 mile swim, a 224 mile bike ride, and a double marathon of 52.4 mile run at the end of it. And the time cap is 36 hours. And if I discipline myself and stay on track, I think I'm going to be able to do it in about 30 hours. And that's without that's non-stop but like my ultra marathons it's maybe taking a little cat nap every here and there um i might take a little nap between the bike and the final run um i'll probably take lots of walk and stretch breaks but that's the plan i want to i'm going to be doing that in march and the very next weekend after that I really wanted to do both of these events and that's just how it landed. But the very next weekend after that is the next cross Florida 116 mile ultra marathon. Um, I had a really hard time last year and it took me 38 hours and I really struggled, but I think I'm working on a new plan this year and I'm going to try, I'm going to do it again. I'm not going to try and do it again. I'm going to do it again but I'm going to try and do it in about 30 hours. So next March is going to be a super heavy, super heavy month. So I'm going to be doing a lot of training up until then. My diet, my hydration, my training, they're all going to be, you know, as, as razor sharp as I can be because I'm going to need it. Um, every, every day that I train is going to matter. So... Conversely, every day that I take off is also going to matter. So I have to stay super disciplined. Um, other than that, that's all I have planned. Um, I don't think I'm going to sign up for anything else in between then. At least not anything big because just my training runs are going to be full marathons and ultra marathons. And my swim and bike training, it's going to be hours and hours on end. So I probably won't, I won't sign up for anything unless it lines right up for my, whatever my training plan is for that weekend. So that's what's going on with me. And if I can say anything, give any sage words of wisdom for anybody, um, it's okay to have bad days, but if you feel like they're happening more often than not, or if you're on medication, and going to a therapist and you're still having a hard time keep talking to your therapist um, keep talking to your your doctor about medication really get that um, really get that reined in it's it's not possible to only have good days that's not possible it's not reasonable it's not normal but you need to be able to manage your days and um as long as you're managing them and using coping mechanisms and they're working, that's great. Keep at it. But um, if those tools aren't helping, go get some more help. Um, so those are my words of wisdom for this week. And I'm going to crack open some seltzers and relax now, now that my run's out of the way. And um, I'll keep you guys in the loop with how my training's going. And if anything else comes up, and until then, I uh, hope everybody has a good day, good weekend, and um, I'll talk to you later.